10 minutes or whatever. Or you need to not respond for 10 minutes so that you can focus on whatever's going on. I am not going to do very well with this. Also, what the fuck are we... The hell are those? And what are we doing up there? That was what? The fuck are these? And why are they already built? The hell are they these? What been adept? Range specialists can use um, psionic transfer. All right. Holy crap. Also, I don't know if I said welcome back. Oh, trust me, that pylon can go to fucking hell. It ain't doing anything. I don't have any resources coming in. I'm basically... I'm almost dead in the water, but I don't think our allies can recover from this. I'll still go with it. I'll still see what can be done. Even if I make a, uh, a zealot, I don't think I can help. God, I love these little cars. Look at it. It's so grand. Stretch? I will stretch. Thank you, Papa. I like the like light green on this. It looks really nice. It looks nice with all the black. It's almost, I just realized, it's almost like a minty green. This is interesting. So, interesting facts for anybody that's like, I guess, new to my channel, is when I initially started, a lot of my colors and everything were like mint green. And um, it was a hot toss up between going to be like mint green or like lavender, like a lilac y kind of cover, color. And I wasn't sure what color I really wanted to go with. And yeah, at first I went with mint green because I'm like, I really like the color. But there's so few things out there that have a really nice like shade of mint. And I'm like, I wouldn't mind having that. So I did. And then when I renamed my channel um, a couple of months after I started, um, I changed all the colors and stuff to go with it. So there's a little fun fact. Let's ruffle their feathers so yeah, all the all the new colors are like lilac-y kind of lavender-y sort of shade. Or pastel purple, I guess. Which is really funny because um, it, applying like color themes and stuff, like I had never really considered what colors I actually like because like I'm mostly just default to black. I mostly wear like mostly black and um... Like, I just don't even think about, like, colors and shades that I like. Because, like, I will default choose black over most things. So if I'm looking up, say... Let's let's just say that I was looking up a phone case or something, right? The first thing I would do is I would change it to, like, look for black. And just see what's good in that. Instead of looking for, like, a various color. Because sometimes uh, what can happen... Let me... I don't want to quit. Let's surrender. So sometimes, like, if you get a color, sometimes how it presents on the computer or how they take a picture of it isn't how it is true to life. And I really hate, because I've got really good, like, color eyesight, so I really hate ordering one thing and getting something that is not that. It's so frustrating. Black and red is a beautiful combo. So, yeah, I was just saying before, like, I don't mind black. Like, sometimes black with red can look really good. I'm not a huge fan of it myself, but a lot of people are. Um, a lot of people are really fond of like black and red. I was talking about it because one of the maps in in here, I think it's where are you? I think it's this one. Like they have like the the darker colors with red and stuff like that. Phoenix, the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Where do you think you're going? Hmm? You are not climbing on me. <laughs> I can't, I can't have you up here at the moment. What's your beef, huh? Phoenix wants a cuddle. And he's getting pats, just to confirm, he's being patted, right? He's being patted and he's being smushed and all that business. But what he really, really, really fucking wants to do is sleep on my boobs. And he can't do that because you guys aren't gonna, you guys aren't gonna hear me through him. Um, he'll act as like a microphone muffle thing. Uh, what do you call them? One of those distortion-y thingies. I don't know what they are. Either way. He got a cuddle. He's investigating Azula's 
uh, flatbed because he could lay on it if he was interested. He could lay really close to me if he was interested, but he wants to just lay on me. Yeah. Yeah, no, he meowed earlier. It'll be somewhere on the VOD he, he meowed as well. Can I have the first picture so I can see what I'm looking at? Yeah. Well, he's, um, he's like 14 or so. Then we worked out he's like 14. So he's quite, he's quite a distinguished gentleman. But, um, he was hyperactive earlier. So when I started tonight, he was all over the place. He was like climbing everything and he was like sniffing everything and running around, rolling around. And it was like really cute, but very hyperactive. And, um, I'm just like, okay, I guess he's like really frisky right now. Um, and he's like, calm down, but he keeps coming back and he really wants like a fucking cuddle. Is this a sand one? <coughs> Sorry. I thought that there was a, it might be a six. There's a really big sand map. It might've been that one. I don't think it is. Cause I remember one being long ways. I remember it being like quite a large area. I just don't remember what it was. I'm just also having a look because I've been playing mostly. I know I played Wings of Liberty the first time, I think. I think I played Wings of Liberty. I played Heart of the Storm for a bit. Because there's like, there's a four in here somewhere. Like that one looks alright. That looks awesome. I love like the like fine detail and shit. Maybe that. I don't think that's it, but this might have. I'm pretty sure it's a six. Let me have a look. Ice cliffs, maybe? It's not, but that's pretty cool. That looks more spread out. Hold on. No, they're still... I really wish that they'd, like, spread us out, like, with, like, Warcraft. Where you actually have, like, a bit of fucking breathing space and you're not, like, just... I don't know, completely... Completely just saddled up with your allies or enemies. <laughs> this is nice. To have a little bit of space. All right, I'm going back to Legacy Void. There is, I want to see if it's in here. That's nice. That's a really nice, like, gold. There's one that's, like, super, super vibrant, like, purple. And I think it's on a different set. No, it must be in one of the other ones. I'm going to guess it's part of the swarm. I just want to show it. I don't want to play it because I played it so much last time. Air station, I have fortress. I like legitimately feel like I'm not getting the same maps between like months. Let's try this. Have a look at these. I don't remember what it was called. Just to be clear, if I did, I'd have already like looked it up. See on the front pictures, molten crater. No. Okay, so I guess they're like just ladder maps. It could have been like blizzard maps. It doesn't matter. It might. Let's see. Entombed, Molten, Scorch Heaven, Runes. No. <laughs> it's completely fucking flipping out now. All right, let's have a look. Get down into force. There's a lot of twos on Heart of the Swarm. Threes? Hello. Three maps. Hmm. Okay. I have not looked at the maps for a hot minute. Oh my god, that is that's not the one I want, but oh my god, that's amazing. I might have to play on that. I'll I'll come back to that. <laughs> I'll come back to whatever the fuck that is. Um Oh man, Blackwater Gold. Backwater Gulch just reminds me of some like red versus blue shit <laughs> when I hear it. This might be the group that have, let's see, Delta? Not Desert, not Debris, Discord, five, okay. Entombed, Foxtrot, there is a lot under this. Wow, okay, this has a lot of snow ones. Burno pools. Infestation. Sweet Jesus. These are like 
a lot of the big maps, but they're like small. What the hell is an Isle of Slaughter? Very green. All right, let's keep going down. How many are there for this? Are they all like small maps? Nope, they get bigger. What the fuck? Queen's Nest? I obviously have not had a click around. Silent Dunes, Bios, was it Typhoon? Like some of these look pretty great. Crypt, Deadlock, District 10, Fossil Quarry? Now I'm pretty sure that's on a couple of them. Oh god. So, okay, so it goes all the way up to eight on this. There's so many fucking maps for Heart of the Swarm, what the fuck? And does this apply for this? Maybe. What the fuck? Maybe back to the first photo. What the fuck? That's awesome. Uh. Yeah, okay. I have to wonder if they were under this. I have a quick look. Wait a minute, glittering? Sorry, I saw the word glitter. It, um, I don't know. It, it's it kind of stuck, you know? It's like glitter. It gets everywhere. Abyssal Karens. Let's see. This one's got, it's got the same one. Okay, so it doesn't really matter which one I'm looking at. I think they're just like all of them. Maybe. If that's the case, where was that weird named one? There, wasn't it? Yeah, let's do this shit. Let's find out what this shit's about. The torment map. Okay. Alright, so I've been playing like all sorts of like difficulties, but if I have an ally. Let's let's do this. Add in some. I don't care what they are. Can I have a different colour? Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. Look, I just don't want you to be the exact same color as all of them. All right, so harder for my ally? Sure, let's make you... I think harder and me can probably take on elite. I would say maybe cheetah one, and let's try... This is going to be difficult. Let's take it to cheetah one and cheetah two and see this. I'm either going to die really quick or we're going to do okay, at least against this guy maybe. I know we can take on Elite, it's like myself and one other, but Cheetah 2 is putting it as a question mark. I just like how fucking purple this map is. <laughs> I know last time I played, I spent ages like looking through all the various maps. Dark. You have not enough minerals. Look, we'll have minerals in a hot second, okay? You have not enough minerals. <laughs> all right. I do like, uh, what is this? Oh, a barricade. All right, hold up. We've got to fucking stay focused because I know if I don't keep up with my ally, um, we're going to have issues. We're going to have big issues. Should be able to get one of these, and I will just get one. Let's drop that crystal off. Um, you can definitely sit there. Let's get a couple of extras. Oh, we got enough minerals for one more guy. Don't you worry about it. Okay, if I get a chance, can I, if I get a chance to put this down before that thing warps in. There we go. Go put that down. Go back to it now. All right. And one of you can go in here. Get that caught up. All right. Well, now we got two and we got that and I'm going to need another crystal. <clears throat> Where are, uh, I've got one thing back there. That's where my entrance is. I don't know why you're that far out. Like, what the fuck? How did they have time to waste one of their little people for this shit? I have to wonder. Also, get back on something. Okay, that's nearly there. I don't necessarily want just that guy. So, with that, I want to get one of these. Let's get a couple more of these. Boost that. You can go back. Actually, go back on there. Alright. Now I've got two pylons, I've got that thing, I've got this. I'll have trying to get like 30 odd people already. But I want to get the um, stalkers. I want to get the stalkers out real quick. So as soon as I can, I'll do this. I can? I shall. That's a Protoss building. 
Okay. Cool. Protoss and Protoss, fan fucking tastic. I must admit, at least I'm doing at at least better than I was. Like the first couple of times, I like jumped on and played and just yeah, got destroyed all the time. Welcome back, Shadow. Astruvius was questioning what you did to get timed out. It was quite funny. Um, I'm gonna wait to get those. I'll upgrade my ground units while I wait. Look, the Vespian gas will happen, okay? There we go. Also, welcome back if I fucking forgot to say it. I'm not sure if I'm saying things tonight. I'm still like, I'm not feeling as awful as when I started, but I'm definitely still like, eh, out of it. I will get you in a moment. Let's get another one of these Vespian things. Let's get three people on that. I said three. Hector Crystals, what are you doing, Phoenix? You're gonna hurt yourself if you keep jumping off the chair that's spinning. No, you're not sleeping on my boobs. Just fucking deal with it, okay? Fucking all night you've been about this. He's been fine for weeks, even possibly quite factually a, ma a month, maybe. And now out of nowhere, he just wants to sleep up on there. And I just, I can't. And he's, he's been real particular about it. Um, what's it what I did? I didn't do anything. <laughs> the, the conversation was getting too interesting and I had to run before bakery closed. I figured something like that might have been the case. I'm like, generally speaking, you're not really one to time yourself out unless you have to concentrate on something um, or do something and you need a reason to, like, get away from it kind of thing. So I know you've said that in the past when you've been trying to study and you're like, I can't even have you open in the background because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, I get that. Also, I'm trying not to be as voice projecting as I was beforehand because um, I think that's also affecting my voice. But I know that like when people have like the volume on like minimum, they can't kind of like just not hear me. <laughs> it's hilarious. I went from like super, super barely audible to like hyper audible. <laughs> get me some of these guys. Look, I'm going to get the Vespian gas. Don't you fucking worry about it. Let's get back here first get this and then I will also get the things next to it so let's get that go my children destroy them and let me get this as well you don't Phoenix all right while I'm at it I might as well throw in like a billion I fucking pylons in here that I'm gonna need defenses because we're up against cheetah and they both cheer? Uh, it's not going to show me. Oh, wait, that one did. Harder and cheater. All right. Oh, yeah, I got you on 1% when I lurk and still hear you. Not a problem, just an observation. Quite funny, too. Yeah, I noticed that um, when I, like, listened back to my VOD, there was a couple of times where I'm like, the enemy is it's not, not that I'm yelling, but it definitely sounds like my voice is very high. Um audio even on a low setting and I don't like that so I'm trying to fix it all it means is that my voice gets into yellow um, and it stays in yellow your voice be booming yeah no I'm trying to <laughs> I, I find that really funny I'm very very quiet person and yet I'm able to in the last like I don't know several months I've learned how to project my voice and I think that's also contributing to, like, overstraining it. So, yeah, just trying to, like, talk a little bit quieter. Definitely not to, like, a fucking whisper level, but, like, quieter. And um, also, I don't know. Stop rubbing on his mic, Phoenix. He does not need cat goobies everywhere. Just leave it alone. Sorry. I like just turned around and Phoenix had been like really, really casually sitting at like Nick's desk and out of nowhere I just caught him um, rubbing all of his like nose goobies and shit all up on Nick's mic again. It's like the third time tonight. He keeps sitting underneath it and then suddenly um, being surprised that it's there and then wants to use it. You know how cats are. <laughs> it's 100% stealth. 
Um, <laughs> field, I completely get you. I had to condition myself to speak quietly because um, a normal speaking voice um, makes it, that makes you hurt a block away. Jesus. Yeah, no, I'm one of those people where in person people are like, can you speak up? I can't hear you. And I'm like, I'm literally shouting at you. Like, I can't speak any louder, or I can, but, like, I'll be yelling at you by that point. I always felt really uncomfortable at, like, basically shouting at people for me, but it's apparently I'm just very quiet. That's why, like, my mic gain, hold up, let me have a look, is at, it's almost at half. Okay, so my mic gain is at almost half, um, like, increased percentage so probably i would say probably 40 odd percent 45 percent increased gain on my microphone as well as um like i've moved it back though so that it's not like hitting the yellow but i'm trying to talk quieter like the thing was when i was moving it back i started talking louder so that like logically my brain's like so i could be heard from over there but i need to not do that and sometimes comes out when I'm getting excited, passionate, and I immediately get shushed by everyone. Yeah, no, I've known a few people that are like, there naturally have like super powerful voices. And um, it's always been crazy to me because I'm like, some, sometimes my logic is like, do they know that they're like talking at that volume? And all I ever got like taught was like, sometimes like, um, I know this isn't your case, but in some cases, um, people think that like when somebody's going deaf or have like issues of hearing and stuff like that, um, sometimes people will be like, oh, you'd think that they would actually talk louder, but in most cases, people will talk quieter. So I always was really concerned that I might have had like hearing issues because I would speak so quietly. Um, that's why I've had my ears checked so many times because um, it would seem logical for me to have like some kind of hearing issue because I'm very quiet. Um, and it makes sense because apparently the logic is that like everything around you sounds really quiet, so you naturally just speak quietly. Um, I'm going to have to go and help them. Yeah, no, they don't have much in the way of defense. I have to get in there. Now I can be clearly heard in a small auditorium without a microphone. Quite famous in high school for touring events. Jesus. No, I, I need a microphone that's like turned up for that. Not that I could fucking speak in front of like an auditorium of people. <laughs> Not without like basically just like breaking down into tears and like being absolutely terrified the entire time. I don't know if my allies are going to recover from this. Try to get one of these at a time. Um, let's see if I can get rid of you. Anybody that's able to shoot into the air, let's get you scorn. There we go. My void stalkers will catch up in a moment. I don't know if these guys are going to recover. But at least I caught that. At least I, at least I noticed it was happening when it, when it happened. I'm going to head back to my base. Calm down, mate. And nobody cares about your cool rock. Are in well, somebody probably cares, but I, I personally do not. This Let's expansion see. belongs to the swarm. I could probably take a couple of you guys and add them to here. That's not what I want to do. Um, this one, yeah, no, you're you've already made the thing for that. That's fine. There we go. Let's do that. What are you doing, Phoenix? You fucking have the biggest sulk, aren't you? Yes, you are. My cats have been, like, doing stuff tonight. So, like, Azula was being really cute. I um I put a tissue on my desk to put my watch on um, when I, like, started tonight. Um, just because, like, I got a little bit of water underneath it. I just want it to dry out properly instead of it, like, wearing my wrist or something. Don't wipe your face on his mic. Stop that. Stop. I see what you're doing. Hey, don't you sulk at me. You know what you did. Um... Phoenix has been doing this all night and or sulking about not being able to like sleep on my chest and I know what he wants too because he just sits there and stares at my necklace and I know when he's staring at my necklace that's where he wants to sit and so yeah I know what he wants um 
What's that? Also, finally, McDonald's brought back one tasty burger. It's called the Lumberjack Burger. We'll go bonkers for it, especially it's since it's only for winter. Here. I've never heard of the Lumberjack one. So the Rib Witch or whatever it is, is super popular. Like, it's it's pretty well famous, even in Australia. But I don't know about a Lumberjack one. What's on it? If you know. Um, because I'm curious. Because sometimes, like, it's mostly just about, like, a sauce or... Um, what do you call it? You know, something along those lines. It's it's a specific ingredient they only add during this event. Like the funny thing is, the um, when the Rip Witch um, craze was around, I actually missed out. And then um, when it came back, because it went away for ages, and when it came My back, I couldn't afford to get takeout and shit at the time so again i missed out and then when it came back again i was no longer able to eat <laughs> so i completely missed that entire thing so maybe it's a good thing i missed it but i don't know i'll never know so it's got fried cheese along with meat fried cheese interesting that would be pretty wild a good sauce but don't know what the sauce specifically mayo base i think a lot of like Various sources are just like mayo based anyway. I love the fact that I don't need this many. I'm just like the fact that I like to make them all at once. This is all it is. I could save so much money, but it would require so much more time. Speed you up to catch up. Oh, they? All right, hold up. Let's go say hello to this group. I don't know what they're doing there. I think they're just trying to take that expansion. The other group look like they're gone. This is Cheetah 3, and I think they've gotten rid of Harder. I don't think I can take them on with this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck. <laughs> what a fucking... What a this fucking bunch of... <sighs> Alright, just go for one thing at a time. There's... I can shoot a million things at a time, but if I can just take down a couple, it really helps. Alright, oh, shit. Look, let's get everybody over here, yeah? Uh, so yeah, my main like attack plan with this stuff is if you attack one thing at a time, you can completely- Whoa! Why are they so fast? <laughs> you can get rid of like a couple of people. You guys at the back are gonna be a problem. Why are they so fucking fast? Look, just attack everybody. A couple of you guys in the back attack that one in particular. This also looks like you have some stream overlay showing on the left. Well, it blinks a lot. Shows the chat pop-ups as well. Yeah, so this um, is what I was talking about last night with RimWorld. I, this is what's always here. Um, it's blinking for you guys, but solid for me. And it shows when I'm talking, and it shows the uh, PC volume. So this is how I manage. Like, see how it peeks into yellow? That's saying I'm too loud. If I move my microphone back, I shouldn't peek. I shouldn't peek into yellow as much. Um, but this, as long as this doesn't go past halfway should be fine. My entire base is just basically gone right now. I don't know how they managed to do this, but I'll tell you what, let's go visit them. You come here. So what I want, I want a couple of buildings. I don't know if I can build anything down here. I'll try. Um, those ones are still going, so let's make more. Go, my children. Look, I'll make what I can, okay? Let's get a couple more pylons up here. That can build some more stuff. Yeah, no, that's there. The funny thing is it shows up double chat bubbles for you guys um, during StarCraft. This is what happens whenever I'm in a game that doesn't isn't super compatible with Twitch Studio. And um, StarCraft is one of them. My art stream is another. Although my art stream doesn't usually show this. Um, but I usually don't get the notifications of chat up here during games like this. You guys see it twice, but I don't actually see it. So I have to remember to look over at the chat um, in my program. So it's really interesting. But this is why I can't ever see the top row of what I've got in RimWorld or when I play Age of Empires. Age of Empires was the other game. Oh my god. I couldn't remember it. That was the other one that I also play sometimes. Um, let's slap one of those down. I'm completely wiped out. 17 minutes is too long for fucking Cheetah level 3, apparently. Maybe that's considered late game. 
get rid of you. You can shoot me. I don't think any of these guys can. Something over here can. Jesus Christ. Oh, because of these things exist too. Hey, move back. Move back. It can't get me at that distance. All right. You guys hate that I'm there, but you'll have to fucking deal with it. Keep making people. Yeah, so when I was asking about, like, um, if I had silver last night when I was playing um, Rimworld, I actually, like, legitimately just completely forgot what the fuck I was playing last night. So, yeah, when I was asking, did I have silver? That's why I was asking if anybody could see on the screen if I had silver, because I, I, like, cannot see it. Um, and when, like, certain things, like, uh, this person's attacking that person or this has rotted, whatever pops up, I don't get to see that. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting. You guys get to, like, see that little bit of it. Um, like, I also chose to sit down in this corner as well because I also figured there was nowhere I could sit during StarCraft that um, doesn't block something. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm just sitting down in the corner. I did have one that sat me up here. I don't know where the fuck that went. My swarm I've lost it, so apart. it's fine. I can't just move my like uh, avatar around as consistently as like anybody that has like a live 2D or something like that. Like it always impresses me that like live 2D characters can like get like swooshed all over the screen wherever the fuck they want and like zoomed in and zoomed out and Your stuff. Um, whereas like I, if I resize it, I move around so much. Um, and like I don't know, like if I if I was to make my character.